Hello everyone, in this video we're going to look at the steps to upgrade early to Windows 11 from Windows 10. After many weeks of testing, Microsoft has now finalized Windows 11 and it is making it available in the release preview channel of the Windows Insider program ahead of the official October 5th launch to allow a little more testing before putting the final seal of approval. This is still a pre-release, which means that you might still encounter some issues, but considering that the operating system is in the release preview channel, it means that Microsoft is already confident that this version is very stable. As always, before making any modifications to your installation, it is recommended to make a full backup before proceeding. Okay, here's how to upgrade Windows 10 to Windows 11. To install the final version of Windows 11, there are two ways to do this. You can enroll your computer into the Windows Insider program, or you can download the ISO file that you can then use to create a, to create a USB bootable media or you can mount it in File Explorer to start the upgrade process. However, the first thing you need to do is to make sure that your computer meets the minimum system requirements and you can do this by using the official PC Health Check app which you can download from this Microsoft support website. Once on the website, you can click the download button and then you can open the application and then we're going to install it. Once installed, click finished and to check if Windows 11 will run on your computer, just click the Check Now button. As you can see, this particular computer meets all the requirements. You can see the full report here. And now we can proceed to enroll the computer in the Release Preview channel. Also, I will be leaving links and details in the video description to make it easier for you to follow these steps. So to enroll the computer in the Release Preview channel of the Windows 7 program, open Start, and then open the settings app. Then click on update and security and then go to Windows Insider program. If you get this message, just click this option and turn on this feature and then come back to the same page. Now click the get started button and here we're going to link the Microsoft account that you want to use to enroll the computer in the Windows Insider program. I am going to select the, the one that I already have linked in this computer, but you can also use a different account. And then I'm going to click continue. Now we're going to select the release preview channel to get the final version of Windows 11. And then we're going to click confirm. And then we're going to click confirm again. And now the restart now button. Once the computer has been restarted, open the settings app again, go to update and security, and then go to Windows update and now click the check for updates button. And now Windows 11 will start downloading. But here's the thing, you might also get a pop-up like this where the download will not happen automatically like it just happened to me and you will have the option to download and install which is probably what you're going to get. And you simply click that button and Windows 11 will start downloading in the same way that you're seeing right now. If the notification of Windows 11 is not available, just come back a little time and check for updates again to see if Windows 11 is available to you. Once the upgrade is ready to be applied on your computer, click the restart button to continue. Then the computer will restart and it will take some time to finish the installation, but you won't have to go through the out of box experience or the final setup because this is an upgrade and all the settings are carried over to the new installation. And that's it, we just upgraded to Windows 11 from Windows 10 using the final release available in the release preview channel. And don't worry because you're going to continue to get updates throughout the life cycle of this release of Windows 11. If you want to stop getting preview bills, just open the settings app and then go to Windows Update. And then on the Windows Insider program, open the stop getting preview bill setting and make sure to turn this on. And when you turn this on, after this version of Windows 11 releases, the computer will be gracefully opt out of the Insider program, but you will continue to get maintenance updates. Alternatively, if you can get the final version early through Windows Update and rolling the device in the Windows Insider program, you can sign in into the Windows Insider program download page. And when you scroll down, you're going to be able to find the final bill that Microsoft is considering 
as the RTM for Windows 11 and then just click the confirm button then select your language and click the confirm button again and then click the download button to download the final version of Windows 10 but in a preview state we're gonna save it to the computer once you downloaded the ISO file for Windows 11 you can either use it to create a USB bootable media with a third-party tool like Rufus that will be doing also a link on the video description so you can learn how to do that or you can also just go to the folder where you downloaded the file click double click it to mount it to file explorer and from here you can actually double click the setup file to begin the process to upgrade your device to Windows 11 once the setup completed all the preparation steps make sure that keep your files and apps it's listed right here if not you can click this option and make sure to check that option once the setup is ready to upgrade your computer to Windows 11 just click the install now button and the computer will restart and proceed with the upgrade process again the same as with Windows Update you won't need to go through the out of box experience because this is an upgrade and all your settings and applications and everything that you have before even your files will carry over to the new installation so now I'm just going to exit the setup because I already upgraded to Windows 11 and one thing you want to do after the upgrade if everything is working as expected make sure to open the settings app and go to settings and then go to storage and then go to temporary files and in here select the previous Windows installation and click the remove files to free up space on your computer however remember that if you delete the, the copy of the previous installation uh, you won't be able to roll back to the previous version if something goes wrong in that case you will need to roll back using a clean installation and that is all there is to it that's how you upgrade early to Windows 11 using the release preview channel Remember to like the video, leave your comments, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet. And I just hope this video was informative for you and I would like to thank you for viewing.